Hey what's up everyone, I'm Starlord and today we're going to be taking a little look at some of the different items that you can get in the Contraptions Workshop DLC. I've got to admit guys, I've been playing with this for about a week and it's worth it, it actually is worth it. So we're probably going to take a little cinematic look at some of the items, I'm not going to go too in depth but I will explain how some of them work and all that kind of other good stuff. Anyhow, let's get into the video. Okay, so taking a look at the first item in the DLC, which a lot of people knew we were getting already, is the female mannequin stand and the male mannequin stand. And what these are designed for is to put your armor on, just to kind of showcase them off. And they look good, they really do. I'm a bit disappointed that you cannot actually change what the mannequin looks like. I would love to have those white ones where, you know, you see them scattered around the commonwealth in those kind of creepy situations. I would love to dress those up, but unfortunately, we don't get that. Simply just go up to these mannequins, you press A, and you can then change any item onto them. It's that simple, guys. They're pretty cool. Now one thing I love about this DLC is the new posters that you can get. As you can see here we have a much requested Mr. Pebbles, mainly from me, I wanted this poster for so long, but we have a little bit of a different twist on them. We actually are able to connect them up to a conduit and we can power them with electricity. They look much better, it's such a simple little thing they added, but it looks so good. To be honest, I'm pretty happy that we just get to see a couple of new posters around the commonwealth. Now onto the display cases which people have been after for such a long time and I've got to say guys, you probably will be disappointed. Although the glass actually remains intact which makes it look nice, you actually have to fiddle around with the object to try and get it standing up. Honestly, I kind of thought they may actually make you be able to snap the object but it doesn't work like that and you're going to have to actually stress yourself out trying to get it in the right position. Again, displays for your weapons, a very much requested feature and it's it's pretty good, I've got to admit, but it's just not the best, it really isn't. Sometimes it's kind of hard to find what weapons actually snap to which, even though they do offer categories of, you know, pistol stands, general weapon stands, melee stands, it can get a little bit annoying. For example, I placed a lot of things on that deathclaw board, but nothing happened, It was it's just kind of confusing, I guess. Although, I am very happy about how you display the larger weapons, such as the mini nuke launcher and the machine gun. They're just basically placed onto these two metal frames that keep them intact, and I thought I wouldn't have liked them after placing down the weapon racks, but once I saw the mini gun on one of these, I was like, holy crap, that looks pretty cool, it looks kind of medieval, which I really like. All in all, once everything is lit up, such as the posters or the Mark Q arrows, which you can see in the bottom there, everything looks pretty good, I have to admit. Even the display cases have little lights on them, and yeah, they're pretty good, I've got to admit. Also, as you can see over in the corner there, we do have an armor display stand, which actually shows off the power armor. I personally wasn't really that bothered about it, but I know a lot of people have been after this feature for quite some time because a lot of you guys like showing off how many armors you've actually collected, so some of you guys may actually enjoy this being in the game. We can finally shoot paintballs in the commonwealth without any mods, which would kind of explain how I was able to get the texture files for my paintball mod, which is kind of silly. So as you can see here, we actually have these little aimers and one shot, they actually power on whatever they're connected to. I didn't really show off an example of that because they're kind of hard to, uh, like, you know, maneuver around with and whatnot. But these two guns here shooting, the one on the left is obviously the paintball gun and the one on the right is just a normal weapon that you actually shoot normal ammunition to. You do need to repair these once they are broken down after a couple of shots. But they're kind of cool, you power them up with electricity, you can use them against like raiders or, you know, different kind of things that attack your settlement. Kind of a fun addition to the game, I was really happy that they actually added this in. And the next random item we have is the pitching machine, which I'm pretty sure you know what it does, it actually shoots out baseballs, which it's actually quite fun. But what the heck is wrong with this guy's face? My textures in my game are messing up like crazy, that's the stuff of nightmares right there. But anyway, this device right here next to him wouldn't actually work for me, but you've seen it in the trailers, they're meant to put their heads and arms in it, it's like a medieval torture device, unfortunately I couldn't get it to work, but anyway, we could actually power on our pitching machine and cause him the same amount of pain by throwing different kinds of 
items at his balls, I guess, which was pretty, pretty fun. This guy took it like a trooper. Look how many baseballs he's had to his balls right now. That's crazy. But anyway, onto our first set of structures, which is the scaffolding. Honestly, I thought when I got this, I was like, eh, scaffolding, why would you really need it? But honestly, it's probably one of my favourite things that they've added into the game. Really fun, they've actually introduced ramps now too, which is very helpful rather than having those silly stairs. You can actually just build a ramp as high as you want. As well as that, we now have elevators, which you actually saw from the trailer. A lot of people were asking for these, somebody made a mod, but you know, obviously Bethesda have probably had this in the works for quite some time. For some reason, my elevator would not work for me though, so I kind of had to just take the stairs anyway. As you can see, we have many different presets for the scaffolding, which comes in handy. There is a lot you can do with this, uh, believe me. You have different heights of scaffolding, different ladders, new flooring, which is probably my favourite preset of all time. But yeah, just have a little mess around with it, it's pretty good. Here you can see that I've set up my ball tracks, which is basically you put the ball onto the wooden structure and it kind of rolls down. A lot of people when they first saw this were very excited, including me. I was like, wow, this looks really fun, so many different things that you could actually do with it. And then once I actually got around to using it, I was really disappointed. It lacks a lot of things. They should have been some kind of boost function where you can boost the balls if they're going too slow or you know, you can boost them up on a ramp or something like that. I don't know, they kind of go very slowly. The only way is down basically. There's no way that you can get them to go up, unfortunately. But the things that you can do with this is kind of never ending. You know, whatever you can come up with will be pretty cool. And you're probably thinking, what's that thing that your balls are falling into? Well, that is a junk mortar. Yes, guys, you can actually launch different kinds of items across the map. It's really cool. But first, let's talk. We have fireworks. I can't actually show them off as the DLC is a little bit broken for me, but we have fireworks. Pretty cool. But back to the junk mortar, it is really cool, you know, you can line it up and basically you can move it any kind of way you want. So if you want to shoot directly up in the air, you can have that. If you want to shooting, you know, sideways, you can. And yeah, you can basically put anything that fits into this, into it and launch it across the map. It's, it's pretty cool, but sometimes annoying. Like, it's really hard to actually get items to go if like a very far distance. I guess it all depends on the weight of the item. As you saw, the cannonballs just kind of flunk out, whereas the teddy bear launches out. Anyhow, it's a really good item, probably one of my favorites. And lastly, on to our last building preset, which actually is the factory. To be honest, Concrete was my favorite kind of preset to use when building stuff, but this kind of took over. It is really good, very customizable, and just look at that door. That door is so cool. You just link it up to a box and, you know, it kind of lifts up. It's kind of like the cargo bay to a warehouse, you know, where all of the stuff would come in. But this is like a small factory that I made, not too shabby, but here you can see that I'm actually producing vault lunch lunchboxes. And yeah, for some reason the, the actual conveyor belts aren't moving or anything like that, but yeah, like I said, my DLC is a little bit glitched. You can actually choose what you want to produce in this DLC by putting up a terminal and then connecting it to the machine and telling it what to produce. It's that simple, it's really good on how they actually did this. Unfortunately, you can't actually choose how quick the production is, which is kind of crappy. I thought from the trailer you'd be able to produce like crazy, but I guess not. As well as that, we have conveyor belts that actually lift up to the second floor of a building, which is really cool. And also the hopper, which is basically this thing that collects items until you lift open the hatch. As you can see, I've set one up here, and basically I have a terminal hooked up. Once I go over to that terminal, tell it to open when I press the switch, all of my items actually fly out. I had like, I think it was 6,000 of those vault lunch lunchboxes in there and they will just keep on going out forever and ever. It's pretty cool. It's actually quite funny just seeing them fall out and then keep on continuing on. It's really cool. There's a, there's a bit too much to actually explain what's going on with this DLC. 
but I don't know. I found it very enjoyable, guys. I do think it's worth the money. And, you know, the mods that people are going to create with this DLC that require this DLC are going to be insane. Anyhow, I am very sorry that it wasn't really like my other showcases, but it kind of is just a workshop DLC. I've got a very sore mouth, probably too many blowjobs. Just kidding, just kidding. Probably not. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this and it gives you an insight into what this DLC actually brings. If you did enjoy it, then please do give it a like. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya.